So let me tell you how this all started. I was a 28 year old strung out heroin addict and radio personality who lost his job because of the Hulk Hogan sex tape. The thing I desperately wanted was to not be dead. But here's what I did instead. I figured out what I was great at. Pattern recognition ability and the ability to work a room and get money for attention. This made me realize that I was perfect for digital marketing. I was a lot better than most people and I was years ahead of people similar to me. I was working at a $10 an hour data entry job at some illegitimate ad agency and it was a situation of last hired, first fired when their big client left. What happened when I got fired from that organic agency was I ended up building my own. Then I worked at other agencies and eventually found a job at one that was promoting like Jane Silent Bob and Robert Rodriguez and Danny Trejo. I was booking tickets for Comic-Con events with offer ads back in like 2012. And I got to become the smartest person in the room when it came to paid media because I had the most experience because I'd been doing it for a couple of months. I developed a skill out of trying to do a lot of things because there was literally no blueprint and being able to do it cheaply and quickly because there was literally no playbook on what you were supposed to do and there were no rules. Because of this, I started to learn how audiences work and the way bidding models were put together and how all of the different tools were designed to be interconnected in their capability. And then I quit that job and I became a supervisor at Omnicom's paid media performance marketing division, Resolution Media. I ran ads for CVS and I was spending literally millions of dollars a day on Facebook. And no one knew what we were supposed to do, so I was quite literally writing the playbook with each individual step, not just at the agency, but for Facebook corporate as well. Now the first thing I have to tell you is, it's absolutely terrifying to spend a million dollars a day. And if you made a mistake on a comma like I did, it could be a $50,000 mistake. And I know because I made those mistakes from time to time. And it resulted in horrible outcomes. Through trial and error on my way to the aha moment, I thought I was gonna give up. You can do it! I was being asked to focus on Facebook metrics and not business results. Meaning that I was only trying to make myself and the agency look good on paper with no respect to the business outcomes of the work that we were doing. And they were losing money and I knew it. What kept me going was extracting stuff from mentors who helped raise me up and get real results. Do or do not. There is no try. They had the qualities that I was looking for. Experience, systems, process, and confidence. Because of those mistakes, I had to learn very quickly. Every move that I made had an impact. And the magnitude of the moves you make means that every day you get to learn. At the time, nobody knew how to use Facebook properly. So I was defining the best practices as I went along. And I was writing case studies at my desk literally every single day. Every time my mentors came out into the office, we would hang out. And that gave me a great opportunity to launch a lot of tests and to be the very first person to run a lead gen ad on Facebook. We were creating alphas for Nissan. My coworker said to me and said, hey, we've got like 10 days. We have to present an alpha to Nissan to honor the contract. And the only thing we have is this weird lead gen thing where people can put in their phone number and email and like the name they signed up with Facebook, if they hit a button, the advertiser would get it. And if you don't deliver on alphas, not only do you get fired, the agency does. So this is big deal stuff. So one day while I was in the shower, it occurred to me, why don't we try to use this to set up test drives? We can spend tier one nationwide Nissan money to get tier three markets test drives at the local dealership. We ended up getting a 250X ROAS. It cost $50 to get a lead, one out of two people bought a car, so it's $100 to make a sale on a $25,000 item. And within six months, literally every single car company in America 
was doing this at basically all of their dealerships. This kind of experience allowed me to get where I am today. On the way to driving over a billion dollars of revenue for my clients, myself, my students around the world. I wanted to create a program that embodied all of those values and lessons that I learned from all of my own mentors. So that's why I built the Facebook Ads MBA program. My goal was that by the time you finish the MBA program, you'd be able to give yourself permission to focus on bigger goals and scaling profitability on Facebook without all the problems that iOS 14 brought and all the learning that I accrued through all of the years. And you could start to look at the big picture and ignore silly things like attribution and excuses that most marketers rely on to keep their paychecks coming in. I wanted to transfer confidence, independence, and profitable growth.